Hello Market Club members everywhere, Adam Hewison here coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club. Well the big news is of course Amazon jumped up dramatically, huge earnings beat on their third quarter and it also made Jeff Bezos the uh, founder of Amazon the third wealthiest man in America behind Bill Gates and Warren Buffett. Well be that as it may, the market looks really really good but look what's happened. It's a very similar pattern and I want to just bring this to your attention as to what happened right here. This is a big deal, but the market came back down just like it's doing now, but to a lesser degree, and then went sort of sideways for a while. And I think that could well be the pattern as we just adjust to this new level over $600 for this stock. I wouldn't be anxious to jump in and buy Amazon at the moment. I think we were looking for a target of around 600. We've gotten that. We've uh, taken some profits off the table. And also, again, our triangles are all still very positive on the stock. But I think what we're going to see happen is sort of this happening in Amazon. Sort of go sideways, adjust to the new levels like it did here, and then resume perhaps towards a little later and maybe in December or so. But let's see how that plays out. But generally speaking, Amazon has been very good to us. If we put our trade triangles in, you can see how well they've done. 341 still very positive. 549 was the last one on the weekly. Just put that in there. There's, there it is right here. We showed you that. And of course, we trade the weeklies in conjunction with the monthly. So it's been a really nice trade. You can see it's almost 150, over $150 profit in this one position. And uh, very happy about that. Let's move on. This is Microsoft, another one we talked about yesterday. Specifically, if you remember, we talked about the monthly that kicked in at 48.41. We're 53. We're pretty much at the levels we thought maybe we'll get, maybe I think it's 55 or 56. We were talking about and I think today's high was 53.61 so maybe it's going to go a little further but nonetheless all the trade trials are positive on this stock Microsoft. This stock is called Netgear NTGR had a big move today and I want to share with you the monthly triangles you kicked in today and also I want to also look we like trend lines and this is the period we're going to be looking at so click on the trend line Box. It puts a little yellow box here on the left and just draw from the highs to the lows. You can see it clearly broke out to the upside. But what I also want to share with you is this and that is a move that was took place back here in the October of 2009. This is when the market bottomed out if you may remember from the big crash of 2007-2008. The first move here was from let's say the $10 up to $27, $17. Then the next move we went from this low right here, which let's say we'll call that $18 up to $35. So another $17 move. And then finally we had this move from here, let's say the 30 to the 44 level, $14. So looking at average, these swings take about probably $15 on average, let's say. So the first swing we're going to see is from these levels up here up to about 47 in my opinion. Now I think we can see a pullback then, and then I think we're going to repeat this cycle. But the thing is the long-term thing, if we just look from where we started, and where the highs were, it actually took a couple of years. So we could be looking at a couple of year move in net gear, but it does mean to, to me we could go significantly high because this move went from 10 all the way up to practically 45. So it's about $35 move. So if you go from the lows here, we, we could be looking at 60, $65 on this stock over a period of two years. Now the euro does not look that great. Uh, we're looking for this move to move down to the 108 level. If we scope this out just a little bit further, you can see where we're looking at. So somewhere down to this level right here, this is the previous low, and I think that's where the target has to be for the moment. Looks very negative for this particular currency right now against the US dollar. Looking at the Dow, you can see we've had a nice move up here. We actually got out of a short position with neutral right now with a conflicting triangle formation. But right now the Dow is fat, quickly approaching a resistance area, and I think this is going to be enough to hold this rally. I would say the 17, even where we are now, 17.6, 17, 17.8, 17, uh, is going to be a real problem for the Dow to get through. So let's see how that plays out for the day. Next mark is the S&P 500. Pretty much the same pattern there. You're looking at this really heavy line of resistance, area of resistance, I should say, that's right here. And I think that's going to be enough to stop this current rally. Plus, we thought it could get back up to the pivot point we talked about from this point down to this point. So we're flipping that over. I think we're getting very close to an area this market's going to begin to have some problems. Remember that the weekly is positive, but the monthly, the longer term trend still remains negative on this index. Again, this is a NASDAQ. You can see it's had a, actually had a nice 
run up, but you again, you're going to run into this resistance zone, I think, uh, that's really kind of right up here. So I wouldn't get too enthusiastic about chasing this market at the moment, particularly with the news out of China today. They're cutting their rates again, uh, which means their economy isn't that great. So let's see how that works out for the rest of the week. But be careful right here. This is not a great area to jump into the market in my opinion. This is GLD, the gold. We talked about this before. We still like this market. It's getting down to the the 50 level on the RSI, which is an area of support. That's where we're looking at right here. This is an area of support. It gets on this line and we want to be a buyer. We still like the market. The, the weekly and the monthly are both up. The weekly is for the trend and the daily is for time. So time-wise, you should be out of the market right now, but it's 75, somewhat of a trading range. But I think we're going to see this market just kind of have this kind, kind of pattern and go higher. I still think we can see this market make, be the start of a major bull market in gold. This is spot gold. You can see again the same very similar pattern to the GLD which is we just looked at. That was the ETF for gold. Getting very close to the 50 line. I would be a buyer if we get down to the 50 line and or wait for some sort of turnaround and look trade triangle and if it goes green I'm aboard. Crude oil just gave a signal to get short. You see all of our trade triangles are negative. Not a good sign. We're below the 50 line. Look for this market to continue to be negative next week. Hey I'm Adam Hewis and we've had a good week. Amazon scored some nice profits for us also Microsoft and several other stocks. I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks for watching and I'll be back on Monday.